Hallelujah. We give God the praise. We give him all the honor. We say thank you for bringing us thus far. The God that has brought us will sustain us. He will keep us. He will help us. He will bless us. As we come to the close of the month of August, our God is faithful. It has blessed him to keep us through the month of January, February, March, April, May, June, July. We are in August. The way the nation was going, it was like we will not get here. But God has preserved us and he will continue to preserve us. Matthew 26, 41. Matthew 26, 41 says, Watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. He said we are to continue watching and praying. Let's not give up. Let's not give in. Let's not lose faith. Let's not lose hope in our nation, Nigeria. Let's keep faith with government, keep faith with God. And keep praying and watching and watching and watching and watching and watching. Prayer works. We've been giving you reasons why you should pray. And we stand to say continually that prayer is the key. Our master Jesus said, prayer is the key. Songwriters wrote it, but our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ demonstrated it. Jesus started with prayer and ended with prayer. Prayer is a master key. Prayer is a key. Prayer is a key. Prayer is a master key. Jesus started with prayer and ended with prayer. Prayer is a master key. Anna prayed and received answers. David prayed and received answers. Jonah prayed in the belly of the fish and received answers. I tell you, I'm very sure that as we pray, our various prayers, that God will answer us and meet us all at the point of our needs. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He does not fail. He does not slumber. He is a God that answered prayer. There is a popular slogan that says, If there is a man to pray, there is a God to answer. What is prayer? Prayer is simply talking with God. You can make it holy and consecrated. That is reserved in a quiet place, in a holy atmosphere. But anywhere else, he answers. First Thessalonians 5, 17 says, pray without ceasing. It means when you're in the bathroom, you're praying, he will hear you. You're in the toilet, you're praying, he will hear you. Anywhere you are at, you're praying, he will hear you. That is what the word of God teaches us. You lie down, you kneel down. You are walking, he will pray, he will answer you. So, we may have a blessed time of prayer when our hearts are lowly bent in God. We will gather to Jesus and pray to him. We will come to him in faith. But whatever it is, he is there. He is there. He is there. There to meet your need. There to meet my need. So this morning, we are encouraging us in the place of prayer. He's compassionate. We've seen the wickedness of men at play currently in our nation, Nigeria, and in Afghanistan, where lives don't seem to make meaning, where there is so much carnage and disregard for human life. But our God is a compassionate God. When we call upon him, he will hear us. When we call upon him, he will answer us. When we call upon him, he will show us mercy. He will not cast us away. He will not haunt us to say, 
You are talking too much. You are crying too much. No. We show us mercy. We show us mercy. We'll be drawn to our cry. As I told you when I came out that there was a child crying. Anyway, I'm past, I hear children cry. My heart is touched. And just a few days ago, I had one crying, one shop. Cry, cry, cry. I stopped. I couldn't see the child crying. I looked for the child. The child was under the chair. The mother was sewing. Busy sewing. And the child was under the chair crying. I could tell the woman, I said, as I also will report you to our father, you know, jokingly, we cry. I said, I don't mind him. I've been asking him, but I didn't wait to continue. But just at least the message has been passed. I told I said, the cry is too much. Still answer him and moved on. If we can have compassion, how much more of God our Father? And we've seen people who don't have compassion. Isaiah 49, 15 says that, can a mother forget her suckling child? They are going to say, yes, she can. People can forget that they are human beings. They can forget that somebody else is a fellow human being. I say, kill him, kill her, finish them, kill them in barbaric ways. But our God, we have compassion. He's a balm for the weary. He is strength to the weak. He's sympathizing. Last week we made a series of videos on the sympathizing Jesus. Where we sang the hymn, The great physician here is here. That sympathizing Jesus. He droops the sleeping heart to cheer. Oh, praise the name of Jesus. Sweetest name of mortal tongue. Sweetest note in seraph song. Sweetest carol ever sung. Jesus, blessed Jesus. He is blessed forever. And he's there waiting to hear you and me. And should, in case you have been praying, don't say, I've been praying, 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 does not, you know, don't give up, don't give in, continue. He is hearing. He is our strength. He is our joy. He is our peace. And we have the confidence that when we ask whatsoever, he will answer us. In the fullness of time, he may not be answering the way we want him to answer, but he will definitely, definitely, definitely answer. He will definitely, definitely answer. It's like when the apostle Peter was caught. And the other apostles were praying for his release. When he surfaced at the house. Rhoda, the housemaid, was telling them, Peter is outside. Peter is outside. They said, no, it cannot be. <laughs> Until she persisted. And they went to check. They didn't believe that he could be outside there in that hour. They couldn't believe that God could work that miracle. That is how some of us are. And some of us, yes, are praying. But we don't know how. <laughs> we don't know how, but all we know is that He loves us. We don't know how. We don't know when. We don't know how, but all we know is that He loves us. You don't know how. You don't know when. All you know, you should know, ought to know, is that He loves us. I don't know how, oh yes, I don't know when. All I know is that he loves me. <laughs> I don't know how, oh, I don't know when. All I know is he loves me. I don't know how, I don't know when. All I know is Jesus loves me. You don't know how, you don't know when. All we know is Jesus loves me. I prayed somewhere not too long ago. And the lady was like, it was a challenge, but I answered her. <laughs> you can't challenge my God and pray with me. He said, we'll be praying, we'll be this, what of this, what of that, what of this. I told her, I said, look, he answers. Do it in us. He didn't tell you when, how. But we want him. No, no, no. We want it now. We want it. How? We have even formulated in our mind's eye how he want, we want him to answer. But our Savior Jesus does not answer that way. Let us give him praise. 
He's a bound for the weary. He's our savior. He's our strength. He's our joy. He's our peace. Matthew 26, 41. Watch and pray. Watch and pray. Listen to the news. Watch and pray. And ask for God's direction. That you be at the right place at the right time. That God will not allow you or me to fall into temptation, into snares. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. May his continence of favor and of mercy never leave us all. God loves you. Jesus loves you. Are you out there? You don't know him. You have not accepted him as your personal Lord and Savior. He came that we may have life and have it more abundantly. Please visit our YouTube channel. Love, like, and subscribe. God bless you. We celebrate Jesus in you and in me. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To him be all praise. To him be all the honor. Thank you, Jesus. On Facebook, we have five other accounts. Search the scriptures when you pray and I pray. Visit them, like them. When you like our pages, you like Jesus. Because all we are out to do is to propagate Jesus. To lift him high up. That may me be reconciled to him. That may me find courage, hope, and, and strength to continue. In the name of Jesus. God bless you.